In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the brand new features in our QuickQ version 8.01 beta software. This includes enhancements to effects control, enhancements to our RDM, audio file play, intensity control, and control of our visualizer as well. Let's take a look at this. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and select my four spot fixtures here. You'll notice straight away on the home screen of the console, I've now got dimmer control on my D encoder. This follows through if I go to the intensity window and select faders, you have the dimmer control on the screen showing you your percentage readout. We've also added intensity mode control, which is useful if you've got things like smoke and haze machines, and you'll see that on the encoder above if you have fixtures with that control on them. If I clear that off and go back to my home screen, we've also enhanced effects control in this version. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select my wash fixtures. So I'm gonna go and select my washes here. And you can see it's selected those washes. I'm gonna to go to intensity and I'm gonna to go to effects. I'm gonna drop on a simple dimmer chase across those fixtures. On my encoders, we've added some new controls. You've now got crossfade control on your A encoder, which allows you to change that effect instead of fading between steps to snapping, as you can see in my visualizer here. The other controls you've got, you've got parts, effect size and effect speed control and of course tap to time for that effect. This is running live at the moment and I haven't stored it to one of my playbacks. We have also now add effects direction as you can see that effect is running forwards at the moment and it runs forwards over the selection order of the order you selected your fixtures in on the home screen. You've now got the option of that effect running backwards you can now see it runs backwards. If I go back to forwards again you've now got this new option for effects center in center out. So you can see at the moment my effect is running center out and if I change the arrow here it will run center in. You've also got a new random option as well which will apply that effect randomly over your fixtures. If I take that and I add a position effect as well so I'm going to go to effects position add a circle effect and I'm going to go and store that onto one of my playbacks like so. I'm going to hit my clear button and playback that cue. We've now added a new option to allow you to live retime effects or chases on the Quick Cue console using the blackout key. You'll find this in the settings window, go File, Settings, and go into Show Settings. On the Show Settings, you've got the function for your blackout key. By default, the blackout button when pressed does exactly that, blacks out your rig. The new option, hold blackout and use as a tap to time. In this mode, when you hold the blackout key, won't do anything at all. But when you hold it down, you can press the flash keys below your playbacks, cue faders when in cue mode, or tap on the screen on cues in the execute window to retime them. So I'm going to hold my blackout key down and tap the flash button for playback 4. And you can see it's now retimed that effect running in the visualizer. As you can see, if I tap in a slower speed, we'll do exactly that as well. So you've now got live control to retime effects in cues or retime chases using the blackout key. The third option there, blackout does nothing, disables the blackout key from having any function at all. In version 8.01, we've also enhanced our RDM support. So if I go ahead and start a new show on the console, go to files, new show. I've now been taken to my patch window and you can see it's automatically added a fixture. The reason it's done that is in my settings window. If I go file settings on the DMX settings, you've got two new options. You've got this always scan for RDM fixtures and patch them, which are already switched on, and rig lock. As you can see, when it's always scanning for RDM fixtures and patching, it will periodically check my rig. When it detects new RDM compliant fixtures, we'll go ahead and automatically patch them on my console. If there's not space for them or the DMX channel needs changing, the console will automatically change the fixtures DMX address to somewhere that will fit on the universe if possible. If there's no space on the universe, it won't patch the fixture. The second option there is rig lock. With rig lock, now has the desk controlling the addresses and modes of my fixtures. This is really useful if you've got fixtures in public spaces. Let's say if someone goes up to a fixture and accidentally changes a DMX address of one of my fixtures in my rig, maybe it was on the front of the stage, the console will detect that change and automatically then change the DMX address or mode of the fixture back to what it should be at. Also in version 8.1, we've now added audio output file support. I'm just going to reload one of my demo shows back onto the console, like so. 
and open up my QStack number one. Inside QStack number one, you'll now see there's an audio field. Audio files can be assigned to any of your playbacks or cues in your playbacks on the Quick U consoles. You hit the audio file button here and that gives me my audio column. If you then don't add an audio file and come back out of your QStack window and back in, that column will disappear. If you did have an audio file set, the column would persist. To add an audio file, you simply press and hold on the queue you'd like to add the audio file to. So audio files are assigned directly to queues within the queue stack. So I've pressed mine on queue 2 as you can see. You add audio file, you can pick an audio file from your USB drive. We support WAVs or MP3s. So I'm going to go ahead and select an MP3 file. That's assigned that to queue 2 I'm then going to go and press on Q3, add audio file, go to my USB drive, this time select the WAV file, and that's now been assigned to Q3. To play back your audio file, you simply activate the Q. So I'm going to go ahead and activate Q number two, and that Q audio is now playing, along with the normal lighting state within that Q. You'll notice on the top left and right of the console display, you've now got VU meters. The left hand one for audio input, which has been supported on the console for some time, and now audio output VU meters on the right side. A simple press up on the top right side brings up your master volume control, where you can adjust your volume control or mute the output. Audio files will continue to play until either the audio file finishes or your playback has been released, whichever comes first. In QuickQ version 8.01, we've also made enhancements to our visualizer. If we look at our designer software here, and this is your typical QuickQ designer software layout, and mimicking the layout of your QuickQ console with your home or your screen in the middle, your playbacks, your left-hand multifunction faders, we put the visualizer up on the top left. I'm just going to go ahead and resize this window to make it a little bit bigger. And I go to, to the views. I'm going to go to 3D uh, window view and I'm going to go to my plot view. Inside the plot view, we've now added a new design mode. In design mode allows me to set up and configure my visualizer directly on the QuickQ Designer software. So when I'm patching fixtures, I now have control to move them around and assign them to things like trusses, pipes, etc. We cover the visualizer setup in more detail in one of our QuickQ feature videos, so do check out that video if you'd like to find more about that. So that's some of the exciting new features in our QuickQ version 8.1 beta release.